Level 0. Level 0 is basically the don't panic zone. Almost every asteroid we discover gets tossed here first, and for good reason. These are the harmless ones, the kind that either miss us entirely or burn up in the atmosphere like cosmic fireworks. Think of it as space-throwing glitter at us. Flashy, fun, and gone in seconds. Scientists catalog thousands of these rocks and 99% end up at level 0. Why? Earth is small, and most space debris just isn't on a, a collision course. Even if a pebble-sized rock does slip through, it usually disintegrates before hitting the ground. At worst, you might hear a loud boom, like the Chelyabinsk meteor in 2013 that shattered windows but caused no catastrophic damage. What makes Level 0 interesting is that it doesn't mean boring. Every newly discovered asteroid starts off mysterious. For a short while, astronomers don't know its exact path. One moment it looks like a Level 1 or 2, then improved measurements drop it back to Level 0. It's the space version of a false alarm. So, level zero is the cosmic baseline. Harmless, dazzling, and occasionally a little spooky. But things escalate fast from here. Level one. Level one is where things get mildly interesting. Think of it as the keep an eye on it category. The asteroid in question has a very slim chance of hitting Earth, like lottery ticket slim. But unlike level zero, it's not immediately dismissed as harmless. Scientists flag these space rocks for ongoing observation, just in case the math changes. Here's the funny part. Level 1 asteroids are often the celebrities of the astronomy world. Headlines pop up with dramatic titles like City Destroying Asteroid on Collision Course, and the internet collectively panics, until astronomers release an update a week later saying, Never mind, false alarm. It's like space clickbait, grabs attention, then quietly disappears. For example, when asteroid 2004 MN4, better known as Apophis, was first spotted, early calculations gave it a small chance of hitting Earth in 2029. That tiny possibility was enough to give it a higher Torino rating at first. And while it eventually got reclassified, during its early days it hovered near the low-risk zone, fueling wild speculation and some Hollywood-level rumors. At level 1, the danger isn't the asteroid itself, it's uncertainty. Orbital paths aren't crystal clear when something is first discovered. A rock could appear threatening until more telescopes track it and refine the numbers. Almost always, that scary-looking trajectory shifts into the safe zone, and the asteroid quietly drops back to level 0. So, level 1 is like the universe raising a cautious eyebrow. Nothing to lose sleep over, but enough to remind us that we're living on a cosmic target range. It's the appetizer before the real danger shows up, because from level 2 onward, the stakes get higher and the jokes start to fade. Level 2 Level 2 is where things stop being harmless space glitter and start raising real eyebrows. An asteroid in this category isn't a guaranteed disaster, but it's no longer a total shrug either. The odds of impact are still very low, but if it did hit, the results could be devastating. Think city-level destruction. Imagine waking up to see headlines that say, asteroid could hit Earth in 20 years. That's a level 2 scenario. The chance might be one in thousands, but scientists can't just ignore it. At this stage, astronomers keep telescopes locked on the object, constantly refining its orbit like detectives tracking a suspect's every move. Here's where humor gives way to nervous laughter. A level 2 asteroid is large enough to release the energy of multiple nuclear bombs if it's struck. We're talking shockwaves flattening buildings, fires raging for miles, and debris raining down like nature's airstrike. Not global extinction, but definitely the worst day in a city's history. A famous case? Early calculations once put asteroid 2000 SG344 at level 2, sparking buzz about a potential impact in the 21st century. Further data calmed things down, but for a brief time it lived in that uneasy zone. Unlikely, but scary enough to make the news. The thing about level 2 is uncertainty. Most candidates eventually drop back to level 1 or 0 once astronomers refine their numbers. But the rare chance of it staying here keeps scientists and governments paying close attention. So level 2 is the cosmic what-if that makes you double-check the skies. Still a long shot, but one unlucky calculation could shift everything. And from here on, the levels. Only get darker, bigger, and far more dangerous. Level 3. Level 3 is where the room suddenly gets quiet. At this stage, the asteroid isn't just a background worry, it's a plausible threat. The odds of impact are still relatively low, but now they're high enough that scientists, governments, and yes, the media start paying close attention. This isn't space trivia anymore, it's a possible disaster. A level 3 asteroid carries the energy to devastate entire regions. We're talking about something larger than a football field, moving at tens of thousands of miles per hour. If it struck, the explosion would equal multiple nuclear weapons, turning whole urban areas into rubble in second. And unlike a nuke, there's no off switch for a rock, traveling straight out of deep space. One of the most gripping recent examples was 2024 YR4. For a brief period, calculations placed it at Torino scale level 3, its orbit was uncertain enough that the possibility of an Earth impact existed. Astronomers worldwide scrambled to refine its path. Observatories tracked it night after night, narrowing down the numbers until, thankfully, the risk dropped. But for a while, it was the highest threat ever recorded. That's what makes Level 3 terrifying, uncertainty. A Level 0 asteroid is forgotten. A Level 1 asteroid is clickbait. But Level 3? That's the moment you realize the universe. Sometimes rolls dice with our planet. And this is still considered moderate. 
From here, the scale only escalates beyond regional destruction into the kind of impacts that could change history itself. Because if level 3 makes people nervous, level 4 is the point where panic begins. Level 4. Level 4 is where the world pays attention. At this stage, an asteroid is no longer just a scientific curiosity. It's headline news. The probability of impact is still less than 1%, but the consequences? Devastating enough to erase an entire region from the map. Think hundreds of kilometers flattened in an instant, shockwaves leveling, cities and firestorms spreading for miles. This is the level where governments quietly start dusting off emergency plans. The most famous example is Apophis. When it was first discovered in 2004, early calculations suggested a real chance, about 2.7% of it hitting Earth in 2029. That may sound tiny, but in asteroid math, it was chilling. Apophis is over 1,000 feet wide, large enough to release the energy of thousands of nuclear weapons. For months, scientists tracked it obsessively, and the public reaction bordered on panic. Rumors swirled online, news outlets dramatized the doomsday rock, and speculation ran wild. Eventually, further observations ruled out the 2029 impact. Still, for a while, the Apophis sat at level 4, the highest any asteroid has ever reached. That's what makes level 4 so unsettling. It's the serious but uncertain category, where the danger is both real and imaginable. People can picture the crater, the destruction, the chaos. It's not just theoretical, it feels possible. And here's the chilling part. Level 4 isn't even halfway up the scale. If a single asteroid at this level can make the world hold its breath, what happens when the numbers climb higher into scenarios where global survival is at stake? Because level 5 isn't just about panic, it's about consequences that stretch far beyond a single impact zone. Level 5 Level five is where the asteroid threat shifts from a regional disaster to something that can alter the fate of nations. At this point, we're no longer talking about one unlucky city being wiped off the map. A level 5 asteroid could devastate entire countries, trigger tsunamis that cross oceans, and plunge the global economy into chaos. The size we're dealing with here is staggering, roughly a kilometer wide or more. That might not sound huge compared to the Earth, but in terms of raw energy, it's unimaginable. A strike of this magnitude would release the power of tens of the thousands of nuclear bombs. The blast zone alone could engulf entire states or provinces, while the ripple effects, fires, earthquakes, and walls of water would spread far beyond ground zero. Human history offers chilling reminders of what objects this size can do. Around 50,000 years ago, a smaller asteroid, just 160 feet wide, created the famous Behringer Crater in Arizona. Now scale that destruction up by a factor of 10 or more. That's the kind of violence we're talking about at level 5. And unlike level 4, where panic revolves around possibility, a level 5 asteroid represents certainty of catastrophe if it hits. Cities would vanish. Infrastructure would collapse. Millions of lives could be lost in a single afternoon. At this stage, the threat isn't just about survival. It's about civilization itself being tested. A strike like this wouldn't end humanity, but it would reset the clock for entire societies. And here's the haunting thought, level 5 is still far from the top. Because when we move into level 6, we're talking about disasters that shake not just countries, but the entire planet's stability. Level 6, level 6 is where an asteroid impact stops being just a regional tragedy and becomes a planetary crisis. At this stage, the destruction isn't limited to a single country or coastline. It ripples across the globe, disrupting weather, agriculture, and even the survival of entire civilizations. A level 6 asteroid would likely be several kilometers wide, with enough energy to ignite firestorms, trigger massive earthquakes, and hurl billions of tons of dust and ash into the atmosphere. That dust doesn't just hang around, it blocks sunlight, sending the planet into what scientists call an impact winter. Crops fail, temperatures plummet, food supplies dwindle, even regions untouched by the blast would feel the consequences within months. History offers a grim preview. Around 66 million years ago, a massive impact near modern-day Mexico set off the chain of events that wiped out the dinosaurs. It shows what happens when the sky itself turns against you. Even smaller impacts in Earth's past, though less famous, have caused sharp climate shifts, reshaped ecosystems, and stressed early human populations. For us, a level 6 strike wouldn't mean extinction, but it could mean global chaos. Supply chains collapse, nations compete for dwindling resources, and billions, not just millions, could be at risk. Humanity would likely survive, but life as we know it wouldn't. And here's the terrifying thought, this still isn't the top tier, because when we climb, beyond level 6, we're not just talking about global disruption, we're talking about events that could end civilization itself. Level 7. Level 7 is the point where an asteroid impact wouldn't just change a country or disrupt the climate, it could rewrite the history of human civilization. At this stage, we're looking at objects several kilometers across, carrying unimaginable amounts of energy. A strike of this scale wouldn't just flatten cities, it would shatter entire continents. The immediate aftermath would be apocalyptic. A blast wave racing faster than sound would obliterate everything in a radius of hundreds of miles. 
Firestorms would sweep across landscapes, ignited by molten debris raining back down through the atmosphere. Coastal areas would be swallowed by tsunamis taller than skyscrapers, tearing across oceans to devastate distant shores. But the long-term effects are even worse. Billions of tons of ash and soot would rise into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun for years. Temperatures would plunge, crops would wither, and ecosystems would collapse. This isn't just about losing harvests, it's about the collapse of modern society. Nations would fracture under the strain and billions of lives could be lost in the struggle to survive. What's terrifying is that Earth has faced impacts on this scale before. Ancient craters, like Vredefort in South Africa over 160 miles wide, are scars from objects powerful enough to trigger continent-shaking disasters. Humanity wasn't around back then, but if a level 7 rock appeared today, our world might not be able to withstand the consequences. And here's the chilling part. As catastrophic as this sounds, level 7 still isn't the endgame. Because beyond this lies devastation so extreme it doesn't just challenge civilization, it threatens the survival of humanity itself. Level 8 Level 8 is where we cross into the realm of near-apocalypse. An asteroid of this size doesn't just threaten civilization, it threatens the survival of humanity itself. We're talking about an object several kilometers wide, large enough to unleash destruction, on a global scale. The immediate impact would be almost incomprehensible. Cities vaporized in an instant, shockwaves racing around the globe and tsunamis taller than office buildings battering every coastline. But the true horror comes after the dust settles. Billions of tons of debris would be blasted into the stratosphere, wrapping the Earth in a thick, dark veil. For years, sunlight would be choked off, plunging the planet into an impact winter. Crops wouldn't just fail, they'd stop growing entirely. Global famine would follow, wiping out food supplies and sparking desperation on every continent. Ecosystems would collapse as species disappeared in rapid succession. Humanity, if it survived at all, would be reduced to fragments, clinging to survival in isolated pockets. And we know this isn't just theory. The Chicxulub impact, the asteroid that ended the age of dinosaurs 66 million years ago, was a level 8, or even higher. It left behind a crater over 90 miles wide and wiped out about 75% of life on Earth. A level 8 strike in our time wouldn't just test governments or economies, it would decide whether human civilization continues or ends. And yet, even here, there's still one final step higher. Because level 9 is where near apocalypse tips into something even darker. The kind of event that could erase almost everything we've built, leaving behind only scattered survivors and silence. Level 9. Level 9 is the nightmare scenario, the kind of asteroid impact that doesn't just change history, it nearly ends it. At this stage, we're facing a rock so massive that its strike would unravel global civilization and push humanity to the edge of extinction. Picture this, a mountain-sized asteroid slamming into Earth with the force of millions of nuclear bombs. The blast alone would vaporize everything for hundreds of miles. The shockwave would circle the globe, rattling buildings, igniting wildfires, and sending mega tsunamis racing across oceans to wipe out coastal cities thousands of miles away. But the aftermath is even more terrifying. Dust, ash, and vaporized rock would fill the sky, plunging the planet into a darkness that could last for decades. Sunlight blocked, temperatures plummeting, agriculture destroyed. This isn't just famine, it's collapse. Billions would die not in the explosion, but in the long, slow choke of starvation and societal breakdown. Nations would fall. Technology, infrastructure, and culture could vanish almost overnight. Earth has scars from strikes approaching this scale, like the Vredefort Crater in South Africa, created by an impact so violent it reshaped continents. Humanity didn't exist then, and it's doubtful our modern world could withstand a repeat. Level 9 is civilization's breaking point. Survivors might endure in underground bunkers or remote shelters, but the world as we know it, our cities, our technology, our history, would be gone. And yet, unbelievably, there's still one level higher. Because level 10 isn't survival with collapse, it's no survival at all. The kind of impact that doesn't just test humanity's resilience, but wipes the slate clean entirely. Level 10. Level 10 is the end of the line, the absolute worst case scenario. An asteroid at this scale doesn't just threaten civilization or humanity, or even the animals we share the planet with. A level 10 impact is an extinction level event. It's the reset button for life on Earth. We're talking about an object 10 kilometers wide or larger, slamming into the planet at tens of thousands of miles per hour. The moment of impact would be beyond comprehension. Shockwaves circling the globe, oceans literally boiling near the strike zone, and firestorms erupting everywhere as superheated debris rains back down. The sky itself would seem to be burning, but the real killer isn't the blast, it's what comes after. The atmosphere would fill with dust, ash, and toxic gases, blocking out sunlight for decades. Temperatures would plunge, ecosystems would collapse, and nearly every food chain would break down. Species after species would vanish, unable to adapt to the frozen, poisoned world. We've seen this before. 66 million years ago, a level 10 impact ended the reign of the dinosaurs in a single geological heartbeat. Roughly three out of every four species on Earth were wiped out. If it happened today, humans wouldn't escape the same fate. A few might survive underground or in bunkers, but humanity as we know it, our cultures, our cities, our future, would be erased. Level 10 is the apocalypse. Not a movie, not a headline. 
the final chapter in Earth's story as we know it. And the most sobering truth? Scientists say it will happen again someday. The only unknown is when.